what's up guys so today i'm just gonna film a little quick video just so i don't go inside and take a nap and waste a day so today these hella um northern light series the value fit lights are going to go on the back of the rack so two lights a controller and then the harness harness just because i'm too lazy to make my own and i fucking hate wiring so i got the harness so yeah, it's gonna be easy to install. Um, I'm just gonna film it, post it. Any questions, ask me. That's it, enjoy. What's up guys so the lights are on um <clears throat> sorry i didn't film the rest of it but you guys already know you get frustrated and shit doesn't work out so yeah so i had to drill another hole in the roof well two holes in the roof ran all the wires through the silicone that's drying and then just a little manny screw with silicone around it Wires feed under here, they come out through here. That's what the other screws for to hold them down. Ran them across this way. And there's another one right there. 
then this rat nest I'll take care of this weekend. I want to clean it up, probably put it behind all this plastic trim. And then that's the, I don't know, it's like a little box to control the lights color. Like, so the lights change color on some app. So I gotta figure that out. Then comes down here to the relay, gets power from the inverter, it will straight from the battery to, through the back of the inverter. A little fuse down there and then the switch goes to the front. I didn't connect the switch yet just because I don't know if I want it in the front or I want it back here. So the reason I put these on was because I want camp lights. But I also want them I also want the switch in the front in case someone's on my ass so I can just give them a nice little blinding flash and then take off. Or I might put a switch in the back and the front. But I don't know, I haven't said it. So yeah it was a pretty easy install. Um, I like the way they look, it's fucking badass. I'm gonna come back out here right now when it gets dark and show you guys how bright they are. But yeah, came out pretty good. Alright, what's up guys? So, sorry again for the inconsistent filming. I, like, shit frustrates me and when I'm frustrated I can't really work and think about vlogging and stuff, so... I don't know, I gotta get better at that. But yeah, everything's done. Uh, well, somewhat done. I just mocked up the wires to see how I kind of want them. I'll fix that on Saturday. Uh, the switch isn't connected yet. I mean, it works, it's just not mounted. Because I, I need to find the right place for it so I don't fucking it accidentally and blind people the whole way so it was an easy install I just got frustrated because this bolt up here uh, I, I started using the original ones and they're just made like shit so the pad completely broke off so it broke off in a way where it bent so I couldn't get it off the bracket because I wanted to save the bracket so I managed to get it off that shit was pissing me off and then uh, what else and I just drilled in the hole I wanted to make sure it went in right and I got everything careful. But yeah, besides that, it was easy. The connections were easy. The wiring harness made it so much easier. Um, yeah, I'm gonna come back out here later on when it gets dark. You guys will see how bright they are. I kind of want to show, like, why I did it. Like, just a nice little area when we're camping so I can light it up. And then I also want to come and adjust them so they're both pointed in the same angle. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. I'll probably link this one, I'll probably combine this video with another one, uh, probably tomorrow. I'll have my wife help me set up the Smitty Belt awning, or the trail shade, so, yeah, 
Uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. Okay. Press the blue. No, I cut you off. Right here in the circle. In the circle, press the blue. That's green. Okay, now press blue. And press the red. Orange? Is it orange? Pink. Ooh. You like? Step number one. What's up guys? So overall it's a pretty easy install. I did it myself. I thought I needed my wife, but I guess not. Um, yeah, the only thing is the, well the Bronco has a very low spare tire, so obviously you're gonna have low low headspace. But if you have a lift or if you have a higher spare tire, it's gonna be perfect. But I love it. It's staying, it's kind of windy right now and it's staying perfectly. So I don't know, we'll see this camping trip when coming up, but I think it's badass. I love it. It's an easy solution to an awning. I have an awning that my buddy Johnny gave me. I just have to find the brackets and figure out how to mount it and on what side. But for now, this is perfect. See? Holding up great. Doesn't even move. So yeah, if you guys are considering it, I like it. Really easy install. Four steps. You can do it yourself. I mean, having someone else would help a lot, but you can do it yourself. So, yeah, I thought I was going to do it tomorrow, but I guess I'll upload this tonight. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Um, yeah, peace out.